You know, for years we've been told that we've got to avoid consuming saturated fats or something terrible would happen. I never really quite understood what that would be. But that said, we now understand that saturated fats are actually an important part of our nutrition for brain health, for immune function, and in fact, for every cell in your body. What's really encouraging is some recent scientific reports have come out making us understand that we were actually on target all these years when we recommended saturated fats to be part of your diet. Let's take a look at a new report. Uh, this study from the Annals of Internal Medicine, uh, just published, looked at actually 32 observational studies, a review of uh, studies that involved more than half a million individuals looked at their dietary intake and determined what their risk was for de uh, developing a coronary artery event. Well, first thing you see is that Everything to the left of the line represents reduced risk for coronary artery disease, and everything to the right represents increased risk. So omega-3 is reduced risk, omega-6s like the common uh, vegetable oils, corn oil, safflower oil that people seem to still want to buy at the grocery store, are associated with increased risk of coronary artery disease. And of course, as expected, on the bottom, the trans fats are dramatically associated with a risk for coronary artery disease. But more importantly, what did the study tell us about saturated fats? And what it found was that consuming high levels of saturated fats didn't produce any increased risk for coronary artery disease. Think about that after all the things we've been told for many years. Here's what the art article talked about. In conclusion, the pattern of findings from this analysis did not yield clearly supportive evidence for current cardiovascular guidelines that encourage high consumption of polyunsaturated fatty acids and low consumption of saturated fats. So the point is, we've got to welcome back to the table things like eggs and butter and coconut oil and things that contain saturated fats because they are good for us. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.